so we are going to find do the dimensional analysis applied to force convection heat transfer so h is the heat transfer coefficient and that is written as the function of uh, density diameter velocity mu dynamic viscosity cpu specificity opacity and the conductivity so first of all let us write the basic fundamental dimensions of h h is equal to mt raised to minus 3 raised to theta 1 Similarly, law ML raised to minus 3, D L inverse, B is equal to L T raised to minus 1, C P is equal to L square T raised to minus 2, theta raised to minus 1, B is equal to M L inverse T inverse, K is equal to M L T raised to minus 3, theta inverse. So here, the number of variables are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 variables are there. So here, F, D, F is not a variable, it denotes this function. So 7 variables are there. And number of fundamental dimensions are M, L, T and the theta. There are no other fundamental. Actually, there are seven fundamental dimensions available, but here only four, four are being used. M, L and the T, M, L, T and theta. So, we have the number of fundamental dimensions of four. So, seven minus four, we will get three and that is the number of pi times. So, we have the number of pi times is equal to three and so let us denote those pi times of pi 1, pi 2 and pi 3. So, now pi 1. Uh, so, in each pi time, there will be repeating variable. And here the number of repeating variable is similar to that of number of fundamental dimensions, 4. So there will be 4 repeating variables. And repeating variables means in each pi time we can find these variables. So there are 4 repeating variables. And in this particular case, H, rho, D and V are taken as the repeating variables. So first pi 1. Pi 1 is equal to first repeating variable raised to A1, second repeating variable raised to B1, D raised to C1, V raised to D1. So these four are repeating variables into this mu is not repeating one so these all are repeating variables and this is not repeating we can find this mu only in the first by time so we are writing there so in second by time again h rho dv they are repeating variables so h raised to a2 rho raised to b2 d raised to c2 and b raised to dt cp is not repeating variable only in, in pi 2 we can find the cp so cp is written as cp itself there are not any powers and similarly pi 3 Pi 3 is again h r raised to 3, rho raised to b3, d raised to z3, and v raised to d3. Only k is not repeating, k is written here with the power 1. Now, so pi time is non dimensionless time. So that is equal to for pi time, if we are writing dimension, it is like m raised to 0, l raised to 0, t raised to 0, theta raised to 0. Here, power is 0 because it is a non dimensionless time. So, for h, instead of h, we can represent it by dimension m t raised to minus 3 theta raised to minus 1. So we are uh, we are putting that value in place of s. So raised to a1. Similarly, rho, rho is ml raised to minus 3 raised to b1. d is l, so l raised to c1. v is lt inverse, lt inverse raised to d1. And mu, mu is equal to m l, in, m l inverse t inverse. So similarly, uh, so we have obtained so we have rewritten this term with the help of dimensions fundamental dimensions then now we are taking this a1 b1 and c1 inside the bracket so we have m raised to a1 t raised to minus 3 a1 theta raised to minus a1 so m raised to b1 l raised m raised to c1 l raised to minus c1 so m raised to b1 l raised to minus 3 1 here l raised to c1 here this d1 will be coming inside l raised to d1 t raised to Minus two. So we have written that by taking this power inside the bracket. Now we are taking this m terms together. So m raised to a one, m raised to b one, and m. There are only three m terms. Those are taken together. Similarly, t terms, t raised to minus three one, t raised to minus d one, and t raised to minus one are taken together. Theta term, theta raised to minus a one. Only one term is there. That is taken together. Then l term. L term is L raised to minus 3 1, L raised to C 1, L raised to D 1 and L raised to minus 1. Those all are taken together. Now, M raised to A 1 into M raised to B 1 into M raised to 1 is equal to M raised to A 1 plus B 1 plus 1. Similarly, this term, T raised to all those things, we can write T raised to minus 3 A 1 minus D 1 minus 1. Theta raised to minus A 1, L raised to minus 3 1 3 B 1 plus C 1 plus D 1 minus 1. So, we have written that. But we know M raised to 0. So, here m raised to a particular value is given in terms of variable so that should be equal to 0 so we have we are equating this a1 plus b1 plus c1 to 0 similarly here l, raise, l is having a power 0 so here also this should be here the power of l is this one 
that should be equal to 0 that is equated to 0 uh, here that is equated to 0 similarly t raised to minus 3 on minus 3 on minus 1 but here t raised to 0 so this minus 3 on minus d1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so that is also written similarly minus a1 is equal to 0 so from this equation that is minus a1 is equal to 0 we are directly getting a1 is equal to 0 so we have got the first one first answer now that a1 is substituted here we know a1 is equal to 0 so this is gone b1 plus b1 plus 1 is equal to 0 so if we are taking on at the other side b1 is equal to minus 1 similarly here if we are substituting we have obtained a1 is equal to 0 so minus d1 minus 1 is equal to 0 d1 is equal to minus 1 so in the last equation it is known that b1 is equal to minus 1 and d1 is equal to minus 1 so we are substituting all those values and by solving that we will get c1 is equal to minus 1 so now we have obtained a1 d1 b a1 b1 c1 d1 etc now if you are rewriting this pi time and time it will be somewhat like pi1 is equal to h raised to a1 a1 is 0 now r raised to b1 b1 is minus 1 d raised to c1 c1 is minus 1 now v raised to d1 v is v raised to d1 minus 1 into this one mu so that is in place of this a1 b1 c1 d1 we have substituted the respective values such that we are able to write this pi on time 